wanted to know which planet was causing your suffering? Hmm. How about Earth? Hey everyone, Ramplex here, back with another Otomo Return video. Sorry about the voice again, I am sick again. I feel like twice in barely two months, which is kind of crazy, but whatever, it happens. So if you guys have been wondering where I have been for the past like 9-10 days, the answer is I've been playing a game called Duels of Eden instead of making videos for Eternal Return. I have been playing the game, Eternal Return in the background, but I haven't been focused on making videos because I do want to make sure that I have enough content to last for the initial season release, so hopefully you guys won't mind me making another video just to explain where I've been. So Duels of Eden is a sister game of the single player game called One Step from Eden, and the reason why I want to talk about One Step from Eden is because that game is a lot more accessible, and even though you don't need to play One Step from Eden to play Duels of Eden, it will make more sense if you do that first, and One Step from Eden is a very, very solid game. When it first released back in April 2020, I spent like two straight weeks just grinding the game out and becoming pretty good at it. So the moment I heard there's a fighting game for it coming out, I was like, bet. And I've been waiting so, so long for Duels of Eden to fully release. Right now, it is in its demo phase, which is why I'm trying to play as much as I can before it fades. And it's honestly super, super fun. Now, before I sell you guys on this game, I just want to mention that the game is pretty difficult and it has been an alpha for a pretty long time. So there might be the usual fighting game growing pains of getting smacked around by better players, but I assure you that it is super, super satisfying to get good. And honestly, you guys are from a Tron Return, you guys are probably used to getting smacked around. <laughs> no offense. And I guess just as, a, as another bit of hype, if you guys know, MOTF has been playing this game. Showix, who is the Tron Return beta, like absolute god, is also playing this game. So there's a lot of Eternal Return people actually. Like, I've seen a lot of names that I recognize and hopefully the audience overlaps. But with all that aside, let's get into why you really need to play Duels of Eden. So to start off, the pixel art for this game is absolutely beautiful. And even the splash art is beautiful too. I mainly focus on the pixel art because that's what you see most of the time when you're playing. The skill effects, the characters, the sprite animations, everything is just so clean. And then if you guys go outside the game, you can see the actual splash artists on the character selects and the, you know, spell art itself. It's all very, very aesthetic. It's all, you know, it's just so beautiful. I mean, that's probably the big reason why I played the original game to begin with, but seeing it in this game as well just reminds me of how much I loved it in the first place. And to add on to that, there is a palette section for all the characters. And if you guys recognize the characters like Dreadworm, um, Maypole, Queen, there's a lot of characters and callouts to other games just because of collabs, but all these characters have a lot of skin palettes, and I know if you guys play Trauma Turn, you guys love your skins, and you'll see that this game has a ton of references to other games. I think we have like Link from Zelda, we have the main character from Brand New Animal whose name I can't remember, we have Megumi from Konosuba, we have Dark Magician Girl from Yu-Gi-Oh, which is my personal favorite skin line, and there's just a lot of things I appreciate about this game aesthetically, which makes it a lot, you know, a lot of fun to look at. Unfortunately, these alternate palettes aren't accessible in the base game, I believe, which is why I advocate for you guys playing the actual game. And unfortunately, I do think that all these games will be monetized, although I think the PvP game will only be $5. And if this video ends up doing well, I might try and do a giveaway with a few Steam keys for this game just because I really want to succeed. And $5 isn't that much. I think I could probably afford to give away a few of those. Obviously, you guys have money then feel free to pay for it, but I really, really do think this game will be absolutely amazing on release. Again, small detail where there'll be a lot of good players because Alpha has been out for a pretty long time at this point. There will be a lot of players that are simply more experienced, it might, be, it might feel bad to play, but I mean, you guys have played Strong Return, you guys know how it feels to be smacked around by much better players, and if the game, you know, pops off on release, then you will see me making videos for it, just to help you guys out as well on that end. But. All that aside, how exactly does the game play? So as I mentioned earlier, it is a grid-based system. You move around with your arrow keys, you can cast your spells and your character's weapons with a few other buttons. There's a dodge, there's a shield, but most importantly, it's all about movement. So what makes this game so different from other fighting games is that movement is a lot more directional, I guess. I, don't, I haven't really played Ultimate that much, I haven't played Tekken or Street Fighter that much, but it's always been very hard for me to follow what exactly is happening in those. Whereas in One Step From Eden, since it's a grid-based system, there's really only four ways you can move. And while some people might look at that and think that's fairly linear, it actually is pretty deep just because 
that Green Bay system means that there's always a safe spot, there's always a dangerous spot, and there's always a way to move around the map to make sure that you have the best options and your opponent has really bad options. So for example, neutral in a lot of fighting games, from what I understand, is simply you guys just throwing out jabs and punches to see who gets the first combo or who blocks incorrectly first. And the same thing is pretty evident in once with Eden. Um, you're really just like navigating around the map and seeing what cards your opponent has and seeing how you can best work around those to punish them or avoid the damage if you're you know on the lower end of or rather on the back end of receiving end so honestly it's pretty hard to explain i'll probably try and get some better players to give me a tutorial on it just looking forward to you guys but trust me you guys get more and more decent at the game the more and more satisfying it feels so to start off with there are a lot of very beginner friendly spells that kind of aim for themselves so you don't have to worry about where your opponent is you just press at opportune times and then as you get good at you know kind of understanding spells and moving you can slowly graduate into very simple combos into more advanced combos and eventually going to combos that seem to just break the laws of physics themselves and honestly that progression is really nice um obviously if you're a new player it'll feel really bad to get comboed uncontrollably and just like lose all your HP, but I think those type of things are just really fun to see because that gives you an upper limit to the skill that you want to strive for. And I think if everyone just kind of played these AoE decks as spammed around, they go, the game would be a lot more boring because you wouldn't really be playing each other, you'd be playing each other's hands, and if you're doing that, you might as well just go play Hearthstone. So one step from Eden, or rather Duels of Eden, kind of combines the best of, the best of both worlds where you're not only playing around your opponent's hands, you're also playing around their physical positioning, which makes it such a fun fighting game to me. So really, just a quick video. Again, I am pretty sick and I have been meaning to make a video about this a lot sooner, but I've been addicted, so, you know, take it as you will. I really hope you guys enjoy this video and get more excited, or rather get excited for this release because it is something that I am very, very excited for again. I'll probably make a video when it fully releases again just to hype it up some more and then make those guy videos when they pop out but until then i will be focusing on chalm return for season two hope to see you guys there talk to you guys later wherever you and have a good day or night wherever you are and hopefully tomorrow when the season patch notes release my voice will be recovered we will see <laughs> good night bye bye